Hello, and welcome back to Gay Chill Craps. I'm Sarah, and today I'm here with special guest, my friend Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for coming. So, um, Tamara and I uh, took a little trip down to one of our local yarn shops and went to a trunk show there, and so I thought uh, it'd be great to have Tamara on the show, too, because we could buy different things and, you know, have different perspectives on the experience. Um, so this took place a couple of weeks ago, mid-September. It was also the same weekend as the Tunbridge Fair, so there was a lot going on. Um, but we decided to play hooky from that event and go down to Scratch Supply Company in Lebanon, New Hampshire, um, which is an independently owned yarn shop. Um, and they were having a third birthday celebration, third birthday of the shop, and having some you know, special events, um, including a visit from Adela Colvin of Lola Bean Yarn Company. And she's from Augusta, Georgia, Augusta. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was a real treat. Um, they have carried her yarn for a while in the shop, but it was great. You know, it's always great to meet the maker behind the product. Um, and for me, this was the first time I'd actually been able to see a uh, little bean yarn in person. Um, cause I don't get down to scratch probably as often as you do. You work. I work pretty close by. Down and, in that area. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go down of an afternoon occasionally mm -hmm. and, and sit in it. Yeah. That's nice. It's a great space. Um, I didn't take a ton of pictures, but we'll put up some footage. Um, it's very light and airy. You can really see the yarn. It's really well lit and has big windows. Um, and they have a really nice lounge, kind of a bohemian yeah, there's like <laughs> lounge area. Three couches and, of different hardnesses and a few chairs. Oh, nice. Yeah, and, so yeah, you can kind yeah. of get your squish factor yeah, in. Exactly. <laughs> um, but they have a really funky aesthetic, lots of bright colors. They stock a lot of speckled yarns and variegated yarns. Um, so the Lola Bean fits right in with that aesthetic too. I think it all works really well together. And the owners um, have made a point from the beginning to make the shop very inclusive and very safe. Um, so I really respect that um, effort of theirs. They put that right up front um, in all their you know, public announcements and even the signs around their door as you walk in. Um, so that's really good to see. Um, but yeah, they had special events going on for the third anniversary. They had um, some goodies. Um, I think if you bought a certain amount of yarn, you got a goodie bag. Um, so we'll show you that. But they also had Jessica um, used to be a professional baker yeah. before she started the yarn shop. So um, <clears throat> she um, she baked some little cupcakes and some. I think there was like a caramel cake or something. There was cake and there was, I only saw, I didn't go into the back room. You brought me oh, a little okay. cupcake and I said, oh, great. And yeah. then I didn't go back in. There so was yeah, there were a couple of cakes. And spice cakes, cakes and, and um, yeah, caramel donuts. cake, which we were there early. So they hadn't really like started dishing out all the goodies. And I was kind of waiting around like, when are they going to cut that? <laughs> it's like, do we when are they going to open the Prosecco? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we only stayed about an hour, so. But everything looked delicious, and um, I keep I keep referring to them as a yarn shop. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they actually sell more stuff, right? Yeah, so they, they sell have... embroidery things. They've got needle felting. They have a certain a quilting corner, mm -hmm. and most especially, I think they have um, miniature uh, painting mm -hmm. for for gamers. They have a little corner that's for um, gamers right. to come and get paints for their miniatures to get miniatures. Right, so people who do either like um, war reenactment, tabletop war reenactment stuff, or tabletop fantasy games, or things like that. Yeah, and, yeah, so they have a little bit of everything. They're not a completely, you know, all hobbies kind of a shop, but they do have a mix of, of different um, kinds of makerly things. So, I guess on to the main event. Um, we went there to check out Lola Bean. And Miss Adela was there. It was great to meet her. Hi, Adela. Wonderful. <laughs> I doubt she's watching, but just in case. Um, no, it was really great to meet her. She's such a warm, friendly person. Um, online, I think you get more of her humor and her kind of snarky side. Um, but in person, she's just really cheery and, and very warm. So yeah. Yeah. I, I came up person. to her and told her my screen name, and she gave me an instant hug. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Same way. I was going in for a handshake, and she just kind of grabbed me. I was like, yeah. yay. 
good hug. Yeah, so, awesome. um, so she was there. She didn't. Uh, she wasn't able to bring, I think, as much yarn as she had originally planned. But she was going to drive us. We didn't have a lot of greens. It's okay. <clears throat> um, she was going to drive up, but then at the last minute, she ended up flying up. Um, oh, we got to meet her brother Charles yeah, as yeah. well. He was yeah. nice. Very quiet. Sitting over on the couch. He was just kind of hanging out in the corner, but he was nice. nice like to most see. men do in a yarn shop full of women. Yeah. Well. I hate to stereotype, but I don't think Charles knits, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was there to support Adela, so so that was cool. Um, so, like I said, she didn't have a ton of colors, but she had all the right colors, all the colors I needed. So these were two that I got, um, and these are going to go together. Um, but the I love the way these work together. Mm -hmm. um, this is the item I'm going to make for this. It's not going to be for me. It's going to be for a friend's uh, child. Um, and it will be the Sweet Pea Dress by Mina Phillip. Um, she's known professionally as Knitting Expat Designs. But I really like these two. This um, cream, as you can see, has kind of a confetti look, but it does have the same lime green as in this color. So these are both the same base. And, oh no, they're not. I'm sorry. This one is called Maybe Bean. It's the base. And this one is string bean. So this is her superwash merino, and this is her merino nylon blend. Um, this, I guess, would be more of a sock yarn, but they're similar in weight. Um, I can tell that the twist is just a little bit different. The twist is a little tighter on the sock yarn, which you might expect. So, but color-wise, they match really, really well. I love the confetti kind of carries mm -hmm. across, and then there's get some lime in this one. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be a little baby dress, and I'm hoping I'm going to use this for the top. And I'm hoping I'll have enough left um, to make myself a pair of socks. Because that would be a fun souvenir for me. Um, and then I just couldn't resist this. I, I try not to buy random yarn anymore. But I just love these colors. This rich purple. I've been more yeah, in a purpley nice. kind of mood lately. And this still has a little bit of green in it. Um, and this is her <clears throat> worsted weight um, base that she calls Kidney Bean. So Lola Bean Yarn Company, they're all something bean. Um, and this is the colorway, it's called the Vineyard. So yeah, it's got the grape and the grape leaves. So really nice. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah. I had snagged some of the precious, precious um, Georgia peach uh, online first. Um, so I got three um, of the wax bean, which is her merino silk, 8020 merino silk. And this is in fingering. I've got three skeins of this that I'm going to make um, my boy lollipop out of. Mm -hmm. And then I got a DK weight of, they are both, no, they're not. This is on Pinto. This is also Georgia peach, but it's in a DK and it's super wash merino. And then the lupini bean, which I've never even heard of a lupini mm -hmm. bean, 50-50 um, merino silk. And I'm, Believe it or not, going to make a baby dress out of it. I have a an eight month old grandchild who is in year old clothes now, and so I'm going to mm -hmm. make her a dress. Make her the two year old dress. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I love this. Let's hold like this Christmas. up a little closer to the camera because again, you've got again, that you've got over the same, the, This has. Yep. Um, get those away from you. That's fine. You have the lime from this over in this pink, too. So I think Adela does a really great yeah. job of cross-referencing her color range yeah. so that you can mix and match things um, and they'll look really cool together. And then I had to get both of these. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to, but I did. Um, these are both <coughs> wax bean, which is the 8020 merino silk, and they're fingering. And what I'm going to do, this is tarnished silver, uh, and mm -hmm. this is Oreo milkshake, which is the perfect name. It is. It. Yep. Um, and I'm going to, I hopefully make, I'm hoping to get two hat danas out of this. I hope. Yeah. Because I love that pattern. I'm hoping to get yeah, that's a grain a, of white. That's a great pattern. So that one is Hat Dana by Denise Bayron of Bayron Handmade. She's out of the Bay Area. Um, and she's designed this great accessory. I have um, Beautiful. some yarn to make it too. It's a it's what the name sounds like. It's a hat and it's a bandana and you can wear it about three or four different ways. So that's pretty cool. What I liked about the, the gray and the white there is the gray is subtly speckled. Mm -hmm. So, and then this has the same speckles as this. 
So you could almost stripe it if you wanted something I could. a little busier. You could work those together in a stripe, and it would look really good. Okay, yeah, have this piece. And let's go back. So the My Boy Lollipop you're going to knit with the, the, the um, peach, fingering right? Georgia peach, yeah. The yeah, and that is um, that is a pattern by Nancy Ricci, who I recently actually got to meet in person and spend some quality time with. Hi, Nancy. She's really sweet also. And um, her moniker online is Getting Pearly With It, so you can find her on Instagram. Um, and I'll link everybody in the show notes, too. And it's been a crazy popular it has. pattern. It's a little prop. Cropped, vintage, kind of hugs your curves. Yeah, it's really cute sweater. Great to wear over dresses or, um, you know, high-waisted skirts or things like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. And then um, from Scratch itself, like I said, they were giving away stuff. I think if you had a minimum spend. And so, Tamara, you got some goodies. I did. So we'll start with the bag. Um, Scratch, this raven is their logo. It's our logo. I love that they did one with him wearing a little hat and everything. That's really cute. And then they also did a custom enamel pin. Um, and I think that was a partnership with Nerdbird Makery, mm -hmm. who we've mentioned yep. before. She designed a t-shirt I was wearing on the podcast a couple weeks ago. But there's a little birthday cake enamel pin. And, and they, they some even had stuff somebody um, dye them up, Stitch Witch, dyed them up um, a... An 8020 merino nylon um, sport weight, and it's their limited edition third birthday colorway yeah, in this color. It's mostly teal with like a little bit of pink and some purple magentas. Yeah. Which was a complete surprise to me. <laughs> I didn't understand that I was getting all these yarns, and the um, <laughs> so I called them and I said, I think I have someone else's yarn. They said, no, 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 that's, that's, you know, a party gift. It's like, that's part of your goody, goody bag. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was really great. We had a, a wonderful time. Yeah, um, and like I said, great people. Um, and it's interesting to me the way that Scratch has carved out their niche, I would say, of the three yarn sh shops that are kind of local to where we live in central Vermont. You know, they each have their own character. So you've got kind of the luxury place in Norwich. You've got the kind of um, workhorse yarn place up in Waterbury. And then you have Scratch, which is more, I would say, caters to like people with the younger, younger crowd, you know, yeah. more of a hip, on-trend kind of knitting. You know, those, those patterns that are coming out now that have a lot of these bright speckled yarns, brioche stuff, you know, all the kind of on-trend yeah. things. Um, so it's nice to have to see each um, store really finding their own niche and catering to their own customer base. Yeah. Because um, Lebanon has, I would say, more young people than you know than your, Waterbury your or, or, your, your or Waterbury Norwich or for Norwich. sure. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, was there anything else you wanted to talk about? That was probably most of it. Um. Oh, what else I got in the little goodie bag was just a tiny, tiny little skein of Blue Sky oh. Alpaca. So cute! Um, and this little lookbook with some patterns in it. Blue Sky is out, out of Minneapolis. And I think they're getting in. Somebody... You have to show the guy on the back. Oh, it's kind of cute. Mm, he <laughs> Does he come with it? No. Tragically, no. <laughs> um, yeah, we pack him up <laughs> with every order. Okay. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> um, I think they're getting in a whole bunch new. I know somebody okay. had this beautiful kind of deep brown rusty colorway mm -hmm. that they were getting in yesterday out of that. So. Gotcha. Yeah. So the blue sky alpacas will be at or is at Scratch now. Yeah, so right. they're really nice. So yeah, they also have a great selection of needles and, mm -hmm. and notions and yeah, and really handy. Yeah. And again, just a fun place to hang out. So if you are local, definitely go there, you know, take your knitting or your crochet with you. And yeah. The so knit night is six to nine, which I guess coincided with the um, Lebanon farmer's market, but they just had their last farmer's market of the season last night. Um, um, so I just, their knit I, night is six to nine. It's actually five, five to eight now. They're moving it back for the oh, winter. Yeah. That so I guess sense. it's later in the summer when the, when the yeah. days are longer and then back in the evenings. So what day of the week is that? Thursday nights, Thursdays. and then Saturday they cool. do maybe 2 to 4, 11 to 3, sometime in the afternoon. Yeah. 
think that's cool. So thank you to Scratch and thank you to Adela of Level Bean yeah. again. Um, and we will keep you posted. I will also um, link to Tamara's Ravelry page and her Instagram so that you guys can keep up. Uh, Tamara is a prolific knitter and a very talented one. And so you can uh, keep up with what she's knitting because she knits very different stuff than I do. So I always like to look and see what other, you know, patterns people are drawn to or what they're making. So thanks a lot uh, for joining us and tune in next week. We'll have more for you. Cheers.